In 2011, one of the largest scientific experiments in coastal protection took shape in the Netherlands, the sand motor. An artificial peninsula designed to nourish the Delfland coast for the coming 20 years. The sand motor slowly spreads towards the beaches and dunes under the influence of waves, tides and wind. Here nature does its job. Different plants, birds and other animals emerge while nature lovers explore the fascinating and unique coastal landscape of the sand motor. To plan the realization of the sand motor, financial resources, knowledge, skills and cooperation of all parties involved was essential. For such a large-scale project, it was quite a challenge to get everyone on the same page. Three goals were defined. Contributing to coastal safety. Adding an attractive area for leisure activities and nature development. And stimulate knowledge development about coastal management. At the start of this ambitious project, there were only calculated assumptions about what was going to happen in the next couple of years. There were lots of challenges and numerous questions. Right after its completion, the sand motor was still a largely empty peninsula of sand, ready for nature to spread its sand to the beaches. To carefully monitor this process, a large team of scientists from knowledge institutes, universities, the government and engineering firms joined forces. They monitor the development of the beach and the seabed, the currents, the dunes, groundwater levels, flora and fauna, as well as swimmer safety, the administrative implications and the value for leisure activities. Five years after construction, the time has come for first conclusions. There are some exciting results that contribute to the knowledge about coastal management. So far, the sand motor has done its job when it comes to spreading sand along the coast. Calculations show that the sand motor could work much longer than the 20 years that were originally expected. The wind and currents spread the sand mainly in a northeasterly direction onto the beach and into the dunes. A lagoon formed along the beach and sometimes cliffs appeared at the north side. Over time, the lagoon became longer and shallower. In 2016, a new channel was formed as a result of a passing storm. Data show that the dune growth in the first five years went slower than expected. This is mainly because the sand has to travel a long way to the dunes. On its path, the sand first comes across the lagoon and the dune lake. Once these are filled up more, sand will be likely to find its way to the dunes faster. Fortunately, dunes developed well on the previously built coastal reinforcement. Characteristic types of beach grass have settled on the sand motor. Also, the sea holly found its home, a protected plant species.
At this time, it's not yet possible to give an answer to whether the sound motor is better for seabed life than traditional coastal nourishments. Therefore, a longer period of research is needed. So far, the researchers encountered small animals such as the Baltic clam and the sand tube worm in the lagoon. These species are not often found along the North and South Holland coast. The new coastline creates new kinds of currents. Therefore, swimmer safety is carefully monitored. Rescue services are very satisfied with a newly developed app, which could also be tailored for other beaches in the world. Leisure activities on and along the beaches near the sand motor have increased. Research shows that visitors appreciate this new landscape because of its space and quietness. Five years. In this time we have learned a lot about building with nature. But we still have many years to go. Years in which we expect to gain more knowledge about this ambitious project. Knowledge that contributes to the improvement of future coastal management plans and alternative beach nourishments. Research shows that the sand motor concept is applicable in several places along the Dutch coast as well as in the rest of the world. One of the first concrete follow-ups are the plans for a sand motor in Norfolk, northeast of London. All the efforts in creating and researching the sand motor have proven very rewarding so far. <laughs>